Hello everyone. So today we're going to be talking about a character that we just thought it was time to create a video on, and mostly everyone wanted this as it was a voted on character. And of course, we're talking about Santa Claus of the Marvel Universe. Now, Santa Claus is a legendary figure who brings gifts to the homes of good children on Christmas. Now, there is a lot to cover with this character, so we're going to have to omit some of the more minor details. Because of time constraints, we'd have a very, very long video. We will only be talking about the more major appearances of Santa Claus in the Marvel Universe. There really is a lot of history with Marvel Santa Claus. Now, Santa Claus's creator in Marvel is Pete Tomlinson. And the first issue with him in it is Strange Tales number 34 of November 1954. Now, in the Marvel Universe, only three people create the Santa Claus mythos. One theory is that his origin comes from a 4th century man named St. Nicholas. Many miracles were attributed to him, and some of his miracles include appearing to an emperor, Constantine, in a dream to save three wrongly accused soldiers from execution. He restored three children back to life after decapitation and gave money anonymously to a family of daughters who could not pay their dowries for them to get married. Now, he tossed bags of gold into their house on the nights before they were married, leading to a Christmas tradition. One night, he dropped the bag down the chimney where it landed in a stocking that was hung out to dry. Now, a second theory is that Santa's origin comes from pre-medieval Britain. There was a custom among tribes for the elders to dress in furs as a character called, quote, Old Winter. And Old Winter would go from house to house delivering food and drinks. It was believed that if someone was completely hospitable to Old Winter, the winter season would also be kind to them. Now, finally, the Odin theory. This origin is inspired by the All-Father of Asgard, Odin, after a night where he saves a village midwinter's feast from not happening. At Sigurd's village, his wife, Saya, hears an odd sound that causes her to rush to the hearth and witness an unknown man wearing furs and holding a huge sack. He then vanishes in a flash of light, leaving behind goods that were collected by Thor. Sigurd and Saya looked outside to see Odin riding a sleigh being driven by two flying rams, yelling, quote, A good midwinter to all! and to all a good life. Now, the theory in general is that humanity's own belief in the three legends mixed with spiritual energy and the magical being known as Santa Claus was created. This was the physical manifestation of giving itself. After being generated into existence, Santa sets up operations in Finland. Now, on Christmas morning, he would ride a horse and deliver gifts. Later on, however, he took a wife and they moved to the North Pole, where they would build a workshop. Santa then brings together a workforce of elves to create toys throughout the year in preparation for Christmas. Now, these elves were descended from the Light Elves of Alfheim, which is one of the realms of Asgard. Now, on Christmas Eve, Santa Claus fills a dimensionally limitless sack with toys and travels around the earth in his sleigh, driven by eight flying reindeer, delivering toys to all good children, even bending the laws of space and time to accomplish this in one single night. Santa Claus can magically slip down chimneys or use magic pass keys to deliver the toys. He will even take time to enjoy cookies and milk left for him by the children of the world. In a variety of different forms and numerous names, Santa Claus performs similar deeds across the earth. He supposedly, quote, inherited some of his magic from Melkor, which is one of the three kings of Bethlehem. His horse, reindeer, and elves are all supposed to be gifts from Odin, Odin's goats, tooth gnasher, and tooth grinder, as well as his eight-legged horse, Sefnir. On one Christmas Eve, a fog sat over the North Pole, hampering all visibility. Santa found a solution in Rudolph, 
the young fawn of one of his reindeer, Donner. Rudolph had previously been ostracized by other reindeer for his nose glowing bright red, but this feature actually makes Rudolph perfect to guide Santa's sleigh through the fog. Thus saving Christmas and Rudolph eventually became a legend to the other reindeer. Now Santa has a evil counterpart, or I should say had a evil counterpart. The demon known as Krampus, who once a year travels the earthly realm to punish bad children by feeding on their very souls. Now Santa eventually fights the demon and banishes him, causing Krampus to become nothing more than a mere myth. Now during World War II in December of 1943, Adolf Hitler captures Santa Claus to destroy the USA's morale. But President Roosevelt sent Sergeant Nick Fury, Captain America, and Bucky to rescue him. Now in recent years after that, Santa saves New York City from the hate monger, which is basically a clone of Hitler. When his sleigh was going so fast that it was seen only as an unidentified flying object distracting one of hate monger's pilots, who then crashes into hate monger's nuclear bomb. Now, years later, Cerebro, the mutant detecting computer of the X-Men, actually detects, quote, the most powerful mutant ever registered in New York's Rockefeller Center. This being was also detected by the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, who sought out the source as well, resulting in a fight with the X-Men. This ends when Santa briefly transforms the Brotherhood into inanimate toys, teleported the X-Men away, erased both groups' memories of his involvement, and gifted the city with snowfall. Talk about Omega Level. Now, in an adventure with Spider-Man, once a criminal scam artist working as a mall Santa asked children where they lived so he could deliver their presents, he then appears at their windows dressed as Santa, conning the children into letting him in, after which he would rob their house. Spider-Man eventually encounters the thief, who then runs to the roof, where the real Santa, angry at his misuse of identity, scared the thief into giving up crime. Now, in a comic book with She-Hulk, Santa actually uses his knowledge of who was naughty or nice to actually become the world's greatest detective, as Nick St. Christopher. He then aids the She-Hulk in finding evidence for an investigation. Entranced by She-Hulk, St. Christopher makes a pass at her. But Mrs. Claus arrives to corral him in and punishes She-Hulk by filling her office with reindeer turds. Before leaving, St. Christopher gave She-Hulk a present, telling her to use it on Christmas for something special. Later on, when she was stuck in She-Hulk form, she opened the present, which allowed her to temporarily return to human form so that she could celebrate Christmas with her father. Now, due to Santa's lack of expertise in business, One of his elves, named Tinsel, ran the North Pole's operations. Becoming greedy, Tinsel tries to convince Santa to bring outsiders to help cut costs. But he refused, since money was never his motivation. Tinsel then spread lies about Santa to other elves, causing them to turn against him and abandon the North Pole. With operations in his factory shutting down, Santa let himself go and became manic. When Christmas came and no presents were delivered, a group of kids hired Deadpool to kill Santa. Deadpool then travels to the North Pole to confront Santa. Now after a tough battle, Deadpool managed to subdue Santa but couldn't actually bring himself to kill him. Now Mrs. Claus explains the reason for Santa's predicament and Deadpool tracks down Tinsel to Rocks on Toys where he was subjecting elves to corporate abuse. Now after Deadpool kills Tinsel, the other elves gladly return to the North Pole. Although Santa regains his composure, he still needed to clean himself up and regain his lost weight. Now an interesting tale from a different Santa Claus from a Earth 42409. He finds out that his reindeer were all scrolls. Now because of this, Santa asks to borrow the Infinity Gauntlet from the Illuminati so that he could make his annual toy delivery on time. The Infinity Gauntlet actually makes him go mad with power, 
the Illuminati then defeat him and return him back to sanity. Iron Man then offers to loan him his robotic reindeer to help him deliver the toys on time. Now as far as powers and abilities go with Santa Claus, Santa has a large number of magical abilities. It's actually amazing what all he can do. He can lift himself and others through any chimney, also avoiding any fiery injury in the process somehow. He can also levitate up a chimney, and it's usually by touching his nose and nodding. He can alter the appearance of himself, objects, or other beings. He can move at super, faster than light speed. He can change the size of any object. He can teleport himself and others across the world. He can generate snow and ice. He can determine who has been naughty or nice. His strength is augmented on Christmas Eve to lift two tons. Santa's full powers are not revealed, however, and prefers not to use them in combat. Now, while he appears to be a senior, Santa has not physically aged in centuries. Santa Claus also has access to a wide range of supernatural artifacts. Although often depicted as Caucasian in appearance, Santa has the unique ability to appear to most people in their own racial features, although he usually retains his white hair and beard, somewhat like Galactus, who also changes his appearance to look like the soon-to-be-eaten planet's inhabitants. He also radiates a charismatic, charming effect, which is able to soften hardened hearts and convert even criminals. He is capable of granting wishes for himself or others simply by touching his nose. He also commands a sleigh pulled by flying reindeer with the names Blitzen, Comet, Cupid, Dasher, Dancer, Donner, Prancer, Rudolph, and Vixen, who all enable him to travel across the planet and stop at most homes in one night. His magical sack is actually a tesseract that serves as a storage dimension, and it holds enough presence to supply the entire world. In all actuality, he is also a mild reality warper, and may even have some form of immortality. In our opinion, who would have known Santa is like totally OP in the Marvel Universe? Mr. Claus clearly possesses superpowers that are on par with Omega-level mutants, like Apocalypse or even Jean Grey. Now we understand that Santa is a situational character, pretty much a yearly occurrence like the McRib or Pumpkin Spice everything, but we would still love to see him as a constant and consistent character within the Marvel landscape. Anyway, this is what we know of Santa Claus within the Marvel Universe. You guys have a cheerful Christmas, a happy Hanukkah, or a wonderful whatever. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, go to the comment section and let us know how we did in this video, or maybe type down a character you would like us to make a video on, and we'll try to make it happen. As always, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.